So we're coming down to the end of the summer and I wanted to throw one last picnic. <laughs> Are you ready to picnic? <laughs> I'm ready. She's thinking about the food that we're going to have at our picnic. Well, I can smell the uh, the cupcakes and the and the uh, potato chips, and <laughs> I'm ready to picnic. But you know what? I think we're going to have to make something first. You are going to have to make something, but let me go back a little bit history of talking about today's show. When we first started talking about it, our theme was ants, until one of our very good friends said, I really hate when they decorate with ants for a picnic. And Heidi and I looked at each other and went, uh, uh -oh. okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> and so Heidi came up with an idea for ladybugs, which I love. And your ladybug has the most personality. Isn't he cute? He's made out of um, plastic caps, which I love to use for recycling. And then, you know, I did them differently. You, you saw the first one I made and it just didn't work out. Sometimes that happens. And then I put fork on the bottom of him for his feet and then plastic spoons for his wings and he turned out perfect. Now, how could it be a he when it's a ladybug? How's he feeling about that? Well, maybe it's a he and a she because I made two. <laughs> All right, there's the, the, you've just redeemed yourself. So will you show us how you make these? I sure will. I wanted to show you the materials that you're going to need for this project. First, you're going to need some cereal uh, cardboard, the Aline's original tacky glue, so, uh, some spoons. You're going to need two spoons and two plastic forks, your fabric, two different colors of fabric, and then one for your ribbon bow, some polyfill, some 24 gauge black wire. You're going to need a candle and something to light it with, a paper punch, probably a quarter inch one and an eighth inch one, and also some foam, um, craft foam, just black and white craft foam. Now these are things that you probably already around the, have around the house. So let's get started. First thing I want you to do is you're going to have two different caps. You're going to have a small cap and you're going to have a large one. This happens to be a Gatorade and this happens to be off of a water bottle. So you want to draw them onto the back of your cereal cardboard. Then you're going to put some glue on the back of it. And you're just going to squeegee that glue. and then you put it onto the back of your fabric like so and I have this one ready here then you cut it out and I cut the line off because the line is always a little larger and I want it to fit inside the cap So I have my large one covered and I have my small one covered. Now we can start to make the body. So you want to cut a piece of fabric. I drew my circle in the center probably about for the body you want it about an inch and a half larger than your cap. And for the, the head you want it about maybe an inch, inch and a quarter larger. You can see where I drew it in and that's going to go on there. Now the first thing I'm going to do, oh I forgot to mention I'm, I'm using a glue gun. The reason I'm using a glue gun is that gives me an instant hold, but the Aline's Techie glue gives me a permanent hold. I'm going to put my fiber fill right into the glue. I'm going to put a little bit of the glue here to hold it when I put it down. Turn it over, and we're going to start to make the body. So I'm going to put some of the hot glue in here first, because that's going to hold it quickly. And then some of the tacky glue, 
and you just start to pull this over into the center and if you need a little bit more glue to hold it just add a little bit more and that is our body. Now we're taking that the cardboard disc that we made to begin with and I can see this one's just a tiny bit big so I'm just going to trim a little bit off. Because I'm going to put that over in, this, in the back of it there so it covers up the fabric. Just push it in in and then we're going to do the same thing for our head. We have a little bit of glue there. I put some of the fiber fill, a little bit of hot glue, and a little bit of the tacky glue. Permanent hold. Bring your edge over this top and into the center. some glue on the back of that piece of cardboard that we covered. And we're going to push that in. And a kind of a good rule of thumb is, is hold it until the hot glue is not hot. It kind of cools down. Then you know it's going to hold. There's our head. Now we're going to make our legs. I'm going to put these aside just for a second. And so I'm using just a small candle. And our legs are our forks. So we're going to just put it over the heat of the candle. We don't want to put it in. We just want to soften it. And just below the stem. You can see it softening. And I kind of pull at it. And then move that aside, then I just trim it with scissors. Oops. So I want two of those. And then I want two of the whoops. Two of the spoons. Again I want to put it over the flame. Soften it. And if you can start to pull it, that's when it's ready. Trim it, and these are going to be for the wings. And you want two of those. We're going to put the feet on the bottom, so a little bit of the hot glue. that in there and a little bit more and there we have the legs now we're ready to put the head on a little bit of glue back here And just put it right there on top. We're ready for our wings that we made out of the spoons. We're going to put one up here and the next one right here. 
and then put a little bow right on top. Bring this one in here and move this one out. So the last thing you're going to do is you're going to use some craft foam where you punch the uh, dots the quarter inch and then also some little tiny ones. Glue those eyes right onto the center here and then a piece of wire for his mouth. And there you have your cute little ladybug.